everyone, welcome back to my channel. December is nearly upon us. Who knew it would creep up so quickly? It does the same every year, but I can never quite believe it. Now is the time, if you haven't already, to start your Christmas shopping and start thinking of what to buy for those loved ones in your life. Today I'm going to share with you some gift ideas for her, for the woman who has everything when you have run out of ideas. Here are some fail safe options that every lady in your life will absolutely love. Also, if you're interested in kids' presents, I have done a Christmas gift guide for kids, both boys and girls, on my My Fashion Cupboard Baby channel. I will link to that in the description bar below. Please do check that out if you're interested. My first category for those lovely ladies in your life is anything warm and cosy. At this time of year, everyone wants to cosy up in front of the fire, in front of a Christmas movie or in front of some Christmas music and feel all warm and cosy and festive. This mermaid blanket is perfect for this. I also showed this in my kids video because you can get kids versions and they're so adorable. But this one is the full size adult version and I have this one in blue and it's from boohoo.com. And they have it in so many different colours, textures, styles. There is really something for everyone on there. But I have it in this aqua blue because I quite like the fact that it's quite a traditional aqua mermaid colour. You can also get it in green if you want it to look like a real mermaid tail. And the idea is that you step in to the back of it like this. Um, and then you wrap it around yourself and all the way down. It has this mermaid's tail at the bottom and I just think it's so super cute. It's really warm and cozy and chunky um, but because it does have that side open you're not going to overheat too much but I think it's absolutely perfect for this time of year. What woman does not want to be a mermaid? Believe me, we all secretly want to be mermaids. <laughs> so this is a perfect gift for any lady in your life and these are actually super inexpensive. This particular one was £18, which I think is really good, but you can get them cheaper as well. So this is quite a thick, chunky knit fabric. The thinner ones are less expensive. So definitely go check that out. And I will link everything in the down bar below that I'm talking about today. So that you can go straight to this one if that is something you're interested in. I think pairing something like that or like the next items that I'm gonna show you with a Christmas DVD from the pen shop or from B&M's for one or two pounds is just the ideal present. Add a little bit of chocolate and you're on to a winner. <laughs> so the next thing in my cozy in front of the fire category is pyjamas and slippers. These ones have been through the wash so they're not looking their very best but these ones are from New Look and I really really love these. I love these booty slippers because they're a lot, they're a lot warmer, they're cozy around your ankles, they don't fall off. I hate when slippers um, don't have a back and you slip out of them. I have fallen down the stairs with slippers like that, so I know better than to buy them again. Um, these beauty ones are perfect. They're nice, cozy, warm, and also these ones have a hard sole. So you can nip out and put something in the bin outside or hang up the washing should you need to. These ones are little rabbit ones and they're super cute. And I believe these ones were around the $7.99 mark, so not too expensive. Next also have some amazing ones, as do Tesco actually, in their Florence and Fred range. But slippers are always good because I'm forever chucking out slippers because they get a little bit whiffy and um, a little bit dirty and it's nice to have new slippers so that's always a good option at Christmas. My next go-to Christmas gift that I buy time and time again for the lovely ladies in my life are pyjamas. These ones are from Next, and they are so adorable. I've bought these ones for um, a gift but I really want them for myself, I have to be honest. These have little animals on them, they have foxes and penguins and reindeer and walruses and bears and everything you can imagine and these are fleecy I don't know if you can see but they're they're not too thick like I hate really really thick fleecy pajamas and um, because I overheat in beds and I hate being hot in bed but these are just really soft fleece but they're still thin and um, so these will be nice and cozy and comfortable for Christmas and I just know that the person I bought these for are going to absolutely love them and like I said, I would love a pair for myself, so I might add them to my Christmas wish list too. These ones, if you're interested in these pyjamas in particular, these ones were £25 from Next. Um, but any pyjamas, you really can't go wrong with pyjamas because again, a bit like the slippers, they're constantly getting worn because you're wearing them every single night when you go to bed. And therefore, they get a little bit tired and worn out and washed out. And a nice new clean pair of cozy warm pyjamas is just the perfect thing to crawl into 
after a busy Christmas day on Christmas night and also perfect for Boxing Day. I just love staying in my pyjamas all day on Boxing Day and watching Christmas movies all day long. So that's definitely what I'll be doing this year. So new pyjamas, hint to husband. My next category is candles or candle-like things. I love candles and I especially love the Yankee candles and the Bath and Body Works candles. Those are my favourite. But with a two year old running around, I don't feel particularly safe having too many candles on. I do put candles on after she goes to bed. Um, but during the day, there are some other options. So if people have, for example, cats and they can't have candles, there's no reason to completely discount this whole category. There are a couple of things here that I'm going to show you that are basically children safe and animal safe, but obviously keep an eye on them and always be careful. But this first thing is like the LED candle. So it looks like a candle. It has that glimmering, flickering effect, but it's battery operated. And this set is from NYX. I really love their Christmas stuff. And it looks like a candle, especially because it's made of wax. Um, so if you touch it, it feels like a candle. And it is also fragranced. It's fragranced with a kind of um, fur tree scent, so like Christmas tree scent. So if you kind of go close and smell it, it smells like a candle too, which is really, really nice. And it's battery operated, but it also comes with a remote control. So at the moment I have these sitting in front of my fire. Like I said, I have a two year old, so you have to be super careful. Um, and so I have these behind the fire guard and obviously I can't necessarily, I don't want to move the fire guard every time I want to turn them on. So I just flick the switch on the remote control and they can come on and you can also set them for four hours to automatically go off after four hours. So if you want them on for an evening and then you're likely to fall asleep on the couch like I do, or you just want them to not stay on too long and waste the batteries, then they will turn themselves off. So I absolutely love these. These ones were, I think these were a little bit pricey. Um, the price isn't on them, so I will put um, a link in the description bar before, but I think they were about £12. Not 100% sure, but I think they are about £12, maybe 15 So. Not cheap cheap, but super amazing gift. The next thing in that kind of home fragrance type category are diffusers, reed diffusers. Again, this is from NYX. I promise they're not sponsoring this. I do love their Christmas things. Um, again, I bought this for a gift and I just love this. It is really inexpensive. It's six pounds. It lasts up to nine weeks. And you might see here, if I can get the glint off, there is um, this like a little wooden house on here and the scent of this is festive spice and it smells amazing because i've had one before and they do them in a different kind of bottle every year and this bottle is just super pretty it comes with the reeds like i say it lasts for nine weeks so i think that's really good value for money i also bought a set of three from nyx which i'll insert a clip now because i've already wrapped them for that present for that gift um, and again just the really packaging is really nice the smell is good it really pays off and you can smell it in the room. So really great and expensive gift for someone who likes home fragrance, but maybe isn't too into candles. Now, is the lady in your life a foodie? foodie? If she's a foodie and she enjoys spending time in the kitchen, then anything food related is a great buy for Christmas. I have a couple of options here, but there are so many out there. Try Lakeland, for example, try John Lewis. They always have some beautiful sets of kitchenware or already things put together to make something. Um, the two that I'm going to show you are from Argos. The first is the fajita gift set and anyone who loves fajitas and let's face it who does not love fajitas will love this because it comes with the griddle pan, it comes with the tongs and it comes with the fajita mix like the Mexican fajita flavour shots and so basically all you need to do is add your chicken and your vegetables and you are good to go and so this is a really great gift. This was really inexpensive from Margos. I actually got it in the sale, but you get a really long time on the use by date on the spices. So if you can look for things like this in the sale, totally recommend them, but check the best before date. Next one is for that woman in your life who likes a little bit of heat and spice. This is the Tabasco gift set. Again, it comes with the tongs. It comes with these Tabasco themed napkins and then it comes with the hot sauce and in a tub so the idea is you do chicken wings with this it has the recipe inside you do your chicken wings with your tabasco sauce and then you've got your little tongs for tossing them and your napkins for wiping your finger afterwards um yeah if a lady likes the heat then that's definitely a good option even better option if you make them for her 
that will be appreciated too. The next thing is fragrance for her, so personal fragrance, perfumes and so on. Most women like perfumes but sometimes it can be a really personal thing so pay attention if a woman likes something in a shop. But I just wanted to show you one thing which I thought was super cute. This is a personalised um, perfume bottle. Again it's from Next. I'm obsessed with that shop and I don't know if you can see from the label because I'm not going to open it up because this is a gift. This is the B one which I bought for a very special lady in my life and it has it is a perfume, it's an eau de toilette perfume, it's 30 mils and it says the scent leads with notes of sparkling lemon and warm pink pepper with a heart of jasmine. Base notes of vanilla, musk and cedar provide a cushion with a nuance of coffee. I just think it sounds really interesting but to be honest I bought it for the novelty value. I love that it's personalised. Like I said fragrance can be a personal thing so be careful with it but I think this is something that will always go down well. It's going to look amazing on a dressing table. The fact that it is personalised just is the added bonus. The next thing that is an absolutely fail safe option is a diary. Everyone needs a diary. I actually did buy my aunt a diary like this a couple of years ago and then I didn't get her one last year and she was really disappointed so I had to go and buy her one. Um, this one's from Paper Chase. It's just a simple pink faux leather. One comes with its own pen, it's got the gold writing, it says 2017 um, and these are, this is quite a large one so it's like one page per day. This kind of thing is ideal for me when I'm working and I have family life to organise, my shopping to do. These things keep me organised and very, and you'll probably find that the vast majority of women like to be organised or at least like the idea of trying to be organised. So this is always a good thing and always at the start of the year, it's always your new, year, new year's resolution to get more organised. So perfect gift. So the next thing on my list is a handbag. Again, this can be quite a personal item, so pay attention. But who does not need a new handbag? Again, it's the kind of thing you use every single day, it falls to pieces and it's always nice to try something new. I really like Just Fab for inexpensive handbags because you can have su they have such a wide selection. But generally, if I'm buying for a l another lady, I will try and keep it classic. Because everyone needs a black handbag. This one is faux leather and it's quite structured. You'll see it's quite boxy, and it is smooth faux leather here, and then kind of and then kind of patterned here, so it's a little bit rough, which I really like. And it has gold hardware, which I love. So it has a little bit of gold hardware here and there to the closure. And then it has the gold chain detail, which can either be made into a short shoulder bag or over the shoulder. So basically just fab have like every color and style you can possibly imagine. So go in there and have a look if you're looking for a bag. But a new handbag is always a good option for a lady because we use them every single day and they always seem to go missing, get broken or get kind of tired or we get tired of them. So one last item in my what to get for the woman who has everything is a hamper. I love giving hampers because you can add, you can really make it your own and make it really personal. Now all you need to do is buy a basket. So this basket is from The Works. It was Four pounds from the works and it already comes with like the cellophane, the kind of the red paper for underneath for placing your items in, the cellophane for wrapping it all up and a tartan ribbon. So for four pounds this is a great option and then you can basically fill it with whatever you like. I'm just going to show you a couple of things that I picked up to fill mine with. I always give hampers to my neighbours because you can make them so personalised. You can fill them with festive foods and drinks if that's the kind of thing that your loved one likes. For example, a nice bottle of red wine, some mince pies, some nice shortbread, that kind of thing. Um, or you can fill them with, um, if, it's a, if there's a child in the family, I have a neighbour who has a young child, I stuff it with things like um, the colour your own Christmas placemats, inexpensive like Christmas games and things like that. Um, if you want to see what I've stuffed mine with, you can check out the kids Christmas gift guide which I'll link below because I showed that there but here's just a couple of ideas for the lady in your life um I picked up this Peter Rabbit English tea selection from the works and I, oh, I just think it's so adorable so English breakfast English afternoon and Earl Grey so totally classic and I just love the 
I love the Peter Rabbit tins. You could absolutely use these again to store some sweets in, some trinkets, your, I don't know, keys or your coins. So cute. So these will be going in my hamper for my neighbours. Another thing that you never can go wrong with is chocolate. And if it's festive themed, then even better. And um, these little Santa and snowman chocolates are absolutely perfect addition to my hamper. I also have a couple of random things which I would add depending on who I'm making this for. I love these little pouches. These are from Superdrug. Um, you can also get them in a variety of colours. I think they come in hot pink and orange, maybe green as well. But I picked up the blue and the yellow and I think they're three for two just now. Um, they just have super big eyes on. They're a good size, quite a good size pouch for makeup or jewellery or pens and pencils depending on the age of the person you're buying for. Thought these are fun and perfect to throw in a hamper. You can always add some things inside like if you're buying for someone you want to get them some nice new makeup. A nice thing to add inside here. Otherwise I would always just stick like 20 pence or 50 pence coin in there. That's always appreciated. And finally for the woman who really does have everything and, ha and leads a stressful and busy life. Who would not love this hot water bottle this Christmas? This one's five pounds from the works and basically it goes around your neck and soothes your shoulders and your back. This comes in a variety of colors as well. I like the sky blue color and it's really, really soft and fleecy and furry. So really, really comfortable lovely to soothe those aching muscles after a stressful day of work or running after the kids. So that brings us to the end of my Christmas gift guide for her, the woman who has everything. I hope that you find some inspiration. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to cut don't forget to check out my what to buy for kids, boys and girls at this time of year, which I've uploaded on my My Fashion Cupboard Baby channel. Go check it out and subscribe over there as well and I will see you in the next one. Happy Christmas. Bye bye.